Hi everyone, this is Sarah here and today I'm going to do a quick presentation on Gamuda Gardens for you. But before we start, I'm going to show you a quick video presentation on our exact site location and how far it is for you to travel from PJ over to our site. Okay, so let's go. So that's the end of our presentation for video side. So I hope you get a better. So that's the end of our video, and I hope you get a better idea of the location after watching the video. So as you can tell, it is on the exit one one five of NKVE, where our site is. If you are coming from PJ Subang Kepong Sungai Bulo, this will be the highway that will be bringing you directly to our site. Okay, so some may say that it is in Rawang, but in fact, Rawang is actually further down. We are only one toll away from the Sungai Bulo Hospital toll and one toll before Rawang toll. So it's actually pretty near to Sungai Bulo, I would say. Okay, moving on, we also have Lata Highway and Gatri Highway. So Gabuda Garden is only a five minute drive away from the confluence of both of these highway too. So Lata Highway basically connects to Kuala Selangor and Selayang. Whereas for Gatri, it connects, uh, it connects to Bukit Jelutong Sha'ala. Okay, so as shown here is the entire development township for Gamuda Gardens with a total of 810 acre land, which is twice the size of Desa Park City. If you know where is Desa Park City, you will be able to imagine. And that's the central park itself already took up about 50 acre of the land for common facilities and green land landscaping. Okay, so 50 acres for the central park itself only. So this entire development is actually a 15 year development and now we are on our fourth year in and already have 50% completed with a few phases launched and the lakes are mostly completed already. So this is where our gallery is at overlooking towards the central park and of course the show unit that you are going to visit when you come over to our gallery, okay? So when it comes down to the entire landscape design, it is done by the previous Desa Park City that, uh, landscape designer, the Warriors Design. So the green view that you see in Desa Park City waterfront is exactly what you will get in our development, except it will be a lot more bigger. Okay, so if you have been to Desa Park City before, you roughly get the idea of it. Okay, so landscape facilities you'll be able to enjoy at our site there will be this uh, viewing tower there will be broadwalk camping ground and then we have also terrace broadwalk and things like that so all of this you'll be able to see right now in the site itself when you come over to our gallery when we bring you through the entire central park area with our buggy racks okay so this is definitely the waterfall that you'll be able to see from the gallery as well and then we also have the waterfront village which the, get, the grocery has opened and many restaurants are getting ready to be open anytime soon right now, okay? 
and then also we have the garden wellness where it is already open as well for the first phase of owners to use so we have a 50 meters lab pool children pool wading pool gym eight courts of badminton court dance studio etc okay other than that we also have a big bucket splash water park which is only walking distance from the clubhouse that I showed you just now. So this is actually open to public. So 10 ringgit for the entrance for adults and also 36 ringgit for kids entrance as well. So this is mainly like a water park for kids. And also our developer have collaborated with the New Zealand tourism company to launch Malaysia first Skyline Luge activity park and it will be completed by year 2023 and it will be open to the public as well. So this is actually located in here and you can see we also have Beacon International School. So actually we have plenty of school options here in our site itself. Within Gamuda, Abanda Gamuda Gardens, we have Beacon House International School. We have five up upcoming primary and secondary school as well. So what is uh, the existing school nearby our site is SJKC Kundang, SJKC Kuang, SK Sungai Serai, and SMK Sri Kundang. Okay, so Gamuda Gardens upcoming commercial hub will also feature retail lots, corporate towers, shopping mall, and shops with the waterfront retail village square. So this is situated at the center of the town where you can see there will be medical center, there will be a garden city mall, and more. Okay, and more. So in total, there are actually four phases of housing area that have been launched. So precinct one is already completed, which is this one. Gaia is the high rise. And moving on, we have precinct two, which is Joya and Jovita will be completing in 2020, year 2022, quarter three. And last, we have precinct four, Ilaria, which have just been launched last year. Okay, so I'm going to move forward to show you what type of houses we have in total. So we have townhouses, we have cluster semi, we have super link and link houses and of course we also have bungalows which are almost fully sold by now. So here we go, these are the wide range of choices that can uh, cater to your needs. In total we have Lavina which is already completed, uh, price starting from 770000 We also have Joya and Jovita. So this two is actually under precinct two. Okay, it will be completed in quarter three of 2022. It is mostly two-story superlink houses or cluster semi-D. So the price will be starting from 870000 Okay, and then next we have Precinct 4, which is Ilaria, which is our most hot-selling unit right now. So if you are really interested, you can actually look into Joya and Ilaria if you don't mind the uh, completion date because Ilaria will take longer because they just launched last year. So they will be completing in quarter one of 2024 and their price will only be starting from 620,000. So Ilaria is a very special uh, precinct because as you can see, it is located at the hillside. So it's actually a hillside townhouse, hillside super link. So a lot of the private views you'll be able to get in Ilaria itself, okay? And then last but not least, we have Gaia, which is our high-rise condominium, and it will be completing next year, eh, sorry, this year in uh, quarter two as well. So as you can see, there are two types of houses come, that comes with house key, which is Joya and Gaia. And I am going to go into house key later on, shortly after this, okay? So this is the Ilaria latest phase launch in year 2020. In December 12th, we have already have 80% taken up. So if you are really interested in Ilaria, you can let us know and maybe we can do some calculation and we can also bring you to have a look at the sales gallery. But you know, if you are interested in others, then you can ask for the price with your person in charge for the price of other phases as well. But for Ilaria right now, the latest uh, phase has been receiving very good reviews and also very good feedbacks from our buyers. So it's actually quite overwhelming. Uh, when we first launched last year, we have already 80% taken up by the buyers. And most of them, like I said, they are actually from Kapong, Sungai Buro, even PJ and also Salayang. And of course, Rawang. Okay, Personally, I stay in Rawang and I love staying in London since then until now. So I grew up there. Okay, so let's talk about house key. Especially for first home owner who does not want a huge commitment in the first few years of their stay can actually consider house key because this is actually a collaboration 
With MeBank, when buyers can pay lower installment for the first few years until they decide when they are ready to purchase the house. So it is something like uh, stay to own offered by EcoWorld if you have heard of it before. So I will go into the details with you. So as you can see, when you decided to take on a uh, house key is actually a five years program. So what house key offers is a lower interest rate for buyers to pay for the first five years or less than five years before they can decide to buy the house or walk away with their three month deposit refunded. Okay, so when you enter into house key program, you first have to pay a three months security deposit only. And then there's no progressive interest payment that is needed for Joya and Gaia where they offer house key. So when the project is completed, that's when you need to pay for stamp duties and you will be able to enjoy the low interest rate installment for the first five years. So you can choose to walk away or continue buying the house at the fifth year or earlier on. But you cannot walk away before the fifth year, but definitely you can buy up the house before fifth year. Okay, so it gives them a time frame to feel how is it like to stay in the area and also to cushion the burden for the first home buyers. So these are mainly uh, to aid the first home buyers to buy the house that they want to buy in the future by locking in the price right now. So say you are right now is 2021, you're locking in the price in 2021, but you'll be staying at the house until 2026 only to decide if you want to buy the, the house at the price of 2021 or you want to move away or you know go to other places. So it's really a free and easy program where you only need five years in and you can decide whether to buy or to walk away after five years, okay? So why township development? A lot of um, my clients, my family and friends have been asking me, you know, if you want to stay in a house, would you like to stay in a landed place or a condo? So personally, I, I am born and bred in Rawang itself. So I have been staying in the landed houses through my entire life. I don't really have experience staying in condo before. But after this uh, MCO last year, 2020, it really hit me and makes me think if I really want to purchase a condo of my own and stay there in the future. Okay, so as you know, nowadays, many people are working from home. Even uh, the space of our house will really affect our emotion through the entire two months of staying home and having nowhere to go. Okay, so according to research, this is what we have gotten after the MCO 2020. So a lot of people have been focusing more on their privacy in the house, their space, and also their uh, space for uh, home office, you know, home study and office, because uh, not only just working from home, you also need to guide your kids, you know, home learning and things like that. So many of clients have told me uh, they finally realized how small their current house is after, after the entire uh, MCO 2020, <laughs> okay? So space has been become a luxury over the years and people are rethinking their needs for space since the pandemic. Okay, so this is when it hits, whether you should spend a 6, 000, uh, 600,000 on a condo in PJ with only three rooms or a 600,000 on a two-story landed house, which is just 15 or 20 minutes out of town with a huge land space where your kids and your pets and you can walk around, okay? So this is what Gamuda do. They have actually, uh, with, they have actually a very strong track record in developing township and mainly are uh, out of the cities. Okay, so I'm going to show you the geographical area that they have developed. If you notice, Gamuda usually focuses on area that is further out of the big cities like PJ, KL, Subang, Cheras. They won't really build township in areas like that. Okay, so starting from year 1995. Uh, Gamuda has started developing large-scale township that encourages the quality of living. Okay, so as you can see, this is Kundang Estates located in Kundang. We have Banda Botanic located in Klang. We have 25-7, which is a huge brand new township as well, located in Kota Kemuni. Not exactly brand new, but you know there are a lot more faces coming up. And then they have Gamuda Cove located in Cyberjaya. They also have uh, Valencia, which is one of my personal favorite, located in Sungai Buro, and last but not least, the Gamuda Gardens located here in Kuang. Okay, so as as of now, they have a total six townships in Klang Valley itself that you can see on the map. Okay, 
So this is my personal favorite Valencia Sungai Bulo and I'm going to go into it. The reason why I love this place is because it's near to my house. It's located in Sungai Bulo because last time I used to uh, go to school for my high school nearby there and the demand only increases over the year. A lot of my friends are staying and moving out of there and yet the sub sales demand there are still very strong going even after so many years. Okay. So as you can see, they started selling in year 20, uh, 2006 and the price is actually going for 610000 and look at how far they have came. In year 2020, they have actually gotten to 1.6 million or at least 1.3 million for almost the same square feet that you can get. Okay, so 14 years and um, they have double or triple the price, almost triple the price. Okay, in Valencia, Sungai Buloh. And I believe if you have been to Sungai Buloh before, it's not exactly a huge city with a lot of malls and things like that, but um, it's starting to come up. You know, Sungai Buloh is starting to come up just like how Guang, Rawang, Selayang is also starting to come up because developer have decided to do a township building over there that brings in a lot more people, population, schools, amenities, and things like that. Believe me, when I say Sungai Bulu was um, pretty dead last time because when I was studying there, my friend had houses there and their parents are nearly buying at the price of 600, 700,000 and now it skyrocketed to million to 2 million or even 3 million plus. Okay, so there are five key components that Gabuna really focuses on while developing a township. First is definitely the security, the amenities, connectivity, landscape, and also the community. So if you have been to any of Gamuda um, township or you know you go to visit your friends or whatnot, you will notice that the security and getting into their house is a lot of hassle. You have to park your car, get down, go to the um, security guard, get the QR code, and then only you can go in. So it's a very uh, long process. But one thing for sure is that it ensures the security inside the community area. Okay, so these are the five things that Gamuda really focus on. And last, I will actually come to here regarding to our attractive limited time MCO package offer. So as you can see, we have HOC discount, Bumi Putra discount. And of course, we have MCO online booking rebate that is up to 18,888 ringgit, which is only during this MCO period. You, we only need you 1,000 ringgit to lock down the unit that you like, and it is cancelable within seven days after MCO. So if you don't feel comfortable going to our gallery right now, you can actually schedule another online a presentation with your person in charge one-on-one -on -one to discuss on what type of houses that you like. You can also ask them to show you the um, tour around the show unit. They will actually have that for you. And then you can actually narrow down to choosing the unit that you want. So other than that, these are all the things free given to you. Free SBA legal fee, loan legal fee, uh, loan stamp duty, MOT, maintenance, and also clubhouse membership. So HOC 2021 will be until um, the end of May. So before that, a lot of our buyers will, will start uh, asking us about the price, any special rebates that we are giving. In fact, yes, we are giving special rebate, which is up to 18,888 ringgit. Let me... Um, Repeat again, sorry if I'm a bit naggy. So you only need 1,000 ringgit to lock in the unit. So as you can see, this video is actually a very brief um, explanation on our entire township, what we have and what kind of houses that we offer, layouts and types. But if you wish to go in depth with all the housing tour, show unit example, the tour and exact pricing of any unit or if you wish to do a loan assessment, please direct to your person in charge and schedule a one-on-one -on -one online presentation and, and they'll show you everything that you need to know. Okay. So yeah, this is the end of my presentation. And again, if you need a loan assessment, if you need the show house link, tour link, VR link, if you need any assistance on the pricing, please direct to your person in charge. And thank you and take care. Thank you so much. Thanks for hearing me out. Bye.